one of the earliest physical formats of music distribution. Created in 1877 by Thomas Edison, vinyl has been uniting people across the globe for generations. While the format did find a short decline, over the past few years, vinyl records have returned to become much more popular in society. But what exactly is it that brings everyone together to appreciate this type of medium? I think what really brings the community together is the fact that you can come together and talk about basically like things that you've gotten. You can go to like record meets, you can meet, they can go to swap meets, you can go buy stuff with other people that you like there. Good music. You know, I think everyone likes music, everyone likes, you know, joyful music. But this good, good music, I think, can bring not only community together, just a lot of, you know, a lot of the world together. Due to the success of compact discs in the 90s, vinyl sales dropped significantly. Although sales were low during the 90s and early 2000s, 2006 marked the renewed interest of the format, known as the Vinyl Revival. With sales increasing, the community began to show signs of change, including demographically. It's going a lot to young people. I, I've noticed, in, especially in the last three years, we have tons of young collectors. Kids in high school, kids in junior high, they're coming in, they like the nostalgic of it. I mean, yeah, they have their, their iPods and their, their MP3s, but it's not the same to see a little square picture on your phone or on your iPod, rather than to pick the big record up. They're like, wow, this is big. In 2013, the United States itself sold over 6 million vinyl records. If compared to the numbers prior to 2006, sales increased around six times the amount it once was before. Despite the increase of renewed interest in records, it was only a matter of time before the downside of its success began to appear. I think what, right now what's happening is there's a lot of companies just going into the business because they saw like a peak in interest. There's a lot of companies out there just releasing things or equipment, or even like records or reissues or something, just because like, oh, it's vinyl, people are gonna buy it. Now that records are, are doing good, and, and I don't like to say this, but they're back per se, now everyone's like getting in on the deal. The big companies, the, you know, the Sonys, the, the, a lot of different record companies, and it's kind of like, where were they? years ago. And I think a lot of that has to do with just the bottom line, the, the money part of it. I never got into records to, to make a bunch of money. I got into it because I love records and, and if the money came, it would be great. But it was more of a hobby for me. There is no doubt that this is a time to start collecting. With so many opportunities presented, the culture is bound to be increasing in size as time goes on. Furthermore, the process to get started is fairly simple. All you need is a decent record player with a counterweight, no, not a cross seat. An amp, some speakers, a good cartridge, and most importantly, the love for music.